Hello, dear friends, this is a traumatic cataract. A 17 years old girl, Nasima Khatun, sustained trauma in this eye about three months back. And she developed this unique cataract. We can see that there are innumerable crystals in the capsular bag and it looks like tiny pieces of diamonds. So I thought this cataract should be given a unique name, diamond cataract. The main incision has been given at around 11 o'clock and two side ports have been made, one at around 8 o'clock, another one at around 1 o'clock. Big air bubble has been injected into the entire chamber. Now tripan blue dye has been injected into the entire chamber to strain the entire lens capsule to see if it helps in surgery. The aim of this surgery is to remove this cataract and place an IOL in the sulcus or in the capsular bag if possible. Now I could understand that the capsule has changed its character in this case. Now uh, this patient had posterior synechia and it has been broken by this direct Simcoe cannula. Viscoelastic substance has been injected into the entire chamber and the fibrous thread which was there along the pupillary margin inferiorly is removed by cutting it, cutting the attachment to the pupillary margin. Now the anterior capsule has to be punctured to remove the cataractus material here it is. A small incision is being given and I have been successful to make a small incision. I could make out that it has happened because the diamond like crystals came out through that opening. Now a direct simple cannula is being used to remove the lens cataractus lens matter, altered lens matter, thousands of crystals were there and it was looking like tiny diamonds. Now the cataract is removed, viscoelastic substance is injected into the anterior chamber. I will make an attempt to see if I can make a capsular excess. Here it is. I take an uterator forceps and I could see that it is not possible. It is a fibrous capsule and if I pull it I am going to tear the jonular fibers. So I have taken a vitrectomy cutter and I am uh, removing the anterior capsule as well as a portion of the posterior capsule by this cutter. Two holes are already made in the posterior capsule and the anterior capsule is opening of the anterior capsule is being enlarged. Gradually I go behind the posterior capsule and start enlarging the opening in the posterior capsule. Now I can make out that the posterior capsule is also fibrous. 
So within three months, this change has occurred in the character of the capsules, anterior capsule and posterior capsule. It has become fibrous. Now I am trying to make a round, almost circular opening in the capsule, anterior capsule and posterior capsule. and it is almost over ultrasonography was done in this case and I could see that the vitreous cavity is eco free and retina is attached so I was hoping that this patient will get good vision because the history is only for three months. Now the opening is made, the large opening in the posterior capsule as well as in the anterior capsule. Anterior capsule opening is little bit larger. Uh, now under irrigation, I'm enlarging the incision a little bit the incision was 2.8 millimeter now it is say 3 millimeter my plan is now at this stage to see if I can place the lens in this space between the remnants of posterior capsule and anterior capsule because the, if the haptics are in the bag, in the uh, remaining parts of the anterior capsule and posterior capsule, if the haptics are at the equator of the capsular bag, I will be very quiet. At this time, I am selecting the eye well and uh, taking the eye well and washing the eye well because the eye well is sterilized by ethylene oxide and ethylene oxide should be washed away I'm happy that the opening is looking nice. It's almost circular. Traumatic cataracts are uh, usually they get really very good vision and uh, if the macula is okay and I hope in this case the macula is okay a multi-piece I will from Abbott medical optics has been taken it is technis multipis I well I have no financial interest you may be curious that's why I am mentioning the name a technis multipis I well has been selected for this patient The eye well has been placed in the cartridge of Acrisoft multipiece B cartridge 
from Alcon because I want to put the IOL in the bag using irrigation and this type of cartridge and injector the left hand remains free which I shall use for maintaining the entrance chamber here it is the irrigating probe go goes into the entire chamber and the eye well is pushed forward the leading haptic goes between the remnants of the entry capsule and posterior capsule and goes to the equator of the capsular bag now the trailing haptic is pushed into the capsular bag but I do not become successful at one attempt I have taken at least three attempts to put the IOL haptic in the capsular bag yes now I am very happy that the IOL is in the capsular bag it's not actually bag because the posterior capsule is also a portion of the posterior capsule is also removed the eye will is dialed so that it it is nicely centered I'm hopeful that this patient will get very good vision air bubble is injected into the anterior chamber to maintain the anterior chamber because uh, studies have shown that the eyeball should not be in hypotonic stage for too long incidence of cystoid macular edema is much less where the intraocular pressure is maintained with the mox i mean moxifloxacin is injected into the anterior chamber underneath this air bubble the side ports are hydrated and the case is over almost the air bubble is removed the final wash with balanced salt solution is given and it is seen under higher magnification it is the anti capsule is nicely formed and the case gets over thank you so much for watching this video